انتهى الزمن مش هلا انتهى انتهى قبل ال2000 وانتهى بالتحديد بال2006 وايضا في حروب غزه انتهى الزمان اللي اسرائيل تدمر بيوتنا وتبقى بيوتها وتدمر بنيتنا التحتيه وتبقى بنيتها التحتيه وتهجر اهلنا ويبقى مستوطنوها في المستعمرات وفي المستوطنات وفي المدن المغتصبه هذا انتهى هذا بال2006 انتهى لكن ما هو ات هو اعظم من 2006 على هذا الصعيد وعلى غير هذا الصعيد ايضا وبوضوح انا اقول لهؤلاء الاسرائيليين اذا انت تهدد بتهجير مليون ونص مليون لبناني المقاومة الإسلامية في لبنان تهدد بتهجير ملايين الإسرائيليين ملايين الإسرائيليين سيتم تهجيرهم في الحرب المقبلة إذا فرضت على لبنان هذا أمر واضح ومحسوم وقادة العدو يعرفونه وشعب العدو يعرفه لذلك هذا الحكي الفاضي وهي التهديدات العنترية هي لن تقدم ولن تؤخر شيئا على الإطلاق. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Hello guys, how are you? In this video, I will talk about Mr. Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah's late speech. It was given two days ago, and it was fairly long. It lasted about an hour and eleven minutes. Uh, the reason it was long uh, was that uh, it covered lots of subjects. I will mention the mo most important headlines in his speech, uh, but in the middle I may uh, talk about uh, talk more about each headline and uh, the thing that I'm telling in this video are not exactly his words, but the gist uh, is going to be uh, given. Okay, he started of his speech by answering to Israelis threats uh, against Lebanese people. Israelis in these days are uh, threatening the Lebanese people that in in next war against Lebanon millions of uh, Lebanese people would be displaced. He said that okay this happens also to the Israelis and uh, he promised that if uh, such a scenario uh, happens millions of Israelis would be displaced as well and uh, this is believable because uh, right now Hezbollah owns lots of uh, advanced missiles and lots of advanced uh, weapons and uh, uh, the situation uh, militarily wise are completely different uh, different comparing to 2006 and Israelis uh, know this fact the best he said also do not think for a minute that because Hezbollah is right now engaging and is fighting the terrorists in uh, Tukhum in uh, outskirts of uh, Arsal and in Al Qalamun uh, or any other places in Syria for that matter and uh, because uh, we are engaging in those fronts we are uh, ignoring somehow the Israeli threats no this is not the case uh, he said that we have special forces trained to fight the sworn this uh, the sworn enemy of uh, the Islamic world namely uh, the Zionists and these forces these special forces are not uh, being used right now and they are not uh, going to be used in un any other places but the uh, south of Lebanon all right he continued and he uh, said uh, uh, something about the uh, he, re he actually reiterated that uh, it's not the intention of Hezbollah and the resistance movement to enter uh, Arsal city but he said the story uh, it's uh, like he uh, said before it's the government's job and it's the Ar Lebanese army's job to take care of this, this problem in the uh, 
uh, Al Sarsiri itself. He said the story is different when it comes to the outskirts of Al Sar. Hezbollah and the resistance movement will uh, clean these areas from the filth of the Takfiri militants, Al Qaeda or otherwise. And uh, he said that right now in Al Qalamun and in Arsal, uh, the resistance have the upper, has the upper hand, and uh, the situation is uh, very good right now, as he said. He said that we are not going to make haste, we are going to take uh, our time, and the resistance uh, front will come out of this fight victorious. He said that we hear in the news that uh, some commentaries concerning the uh, supporter of ISIS or ISIL in Saudi Arabia. Uh, some satellite channels affiliated with Qatar and Saudi Arabia, they say that Iran right now supports ISIS in Saudi Arabia. And this is totally preposterous and not acceptable at all because lots of Iranian advisors were killed in uh, Iraq, Syria and how can it be? How can it be? Uh, the supporters of ISIS were killed and are being killed by ISIS. This commentary is uh, totally ridiculous and nobody is going to buy it. Uh, okay, he said that uh, Iranians and the resistance are uh, f the only ones who are uh, fighting Daesh and the, the other uh, parties uh, who are claiming to fight Daesh, they are just uh, using it as a propaganda and they say, for example, we also, they actually want credibility, but uh, the ones who are making sacrifices and they are being, they are getting martyred are uh, Syrian army, Iraqi army, Hashd al-Shaabi, popular forces in, in Iraq and uh, the Lebanese uh, resistance movement. These are the one, ones actually fighting Daesh and you, if you see the news, uh, the real news uh, given and pre given by uh, the resistance satellite channels you will see uh, the truth and uh, for example BBC and other uh, terrorists uh, satellite channels like Al Arabiya or Al Jazeera they do not tell you the truth uh, if you want to know the real truth you should also uh, watch uh, the resistance satellite channels such as Al Mayadeen uh, Al Manar or Al Alam Okay, moving on, he said, he talked about the origins of Daesh. He said that do not think that this uh, ominous phenomenon uh, just popped uh, popped up and out of the blue there was Daesh, there was ISIL. No, the Daesh, ISIL is the Al-Qaeda. It started off in Iraq and it was um, the head of Al-Qaeda was uh, Ayman al-Dawahiri and actually is Ayman al-Dawahiri uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi who uh, who uh, was the head of uh, Daesh uh, first he was uh, he, he pledged his allegiance to Ayman al-Dawahiri but after a little wine maybe because he uh, received some money from the West or it could uh, uh, occupy some lands he decided that okay it's time for independence he after that he um, claimed himself as the leader of uh, ISIS and then the uh, Caliph of the Muslims all right uh, he said that um, Okay, uh, to sum this subject up, uh, Daesh was Al-Qaeda, then it got separated from Al-Qaeda, and this Daesh phenomenon is the creation of three 
uh, intelligence agencies as it was mentioned by Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah he said that three intelligence intelligence agencies created ISIS the USA the Saudis and the Pakistanis these three ones they created Daesh right now uh, lots of uh, blood is spilled on the on the land of Iraq and Syria and Lebanon and other places for that matter they are totally responsible and right now uh, the USA is uh, using Daesh as a tool uh, to uh, put the governments in the Middle East under pressure and to uh, take advantage of them through Daesh all right at the end of uh, toward the end of his speech he talked about the inhumane and barbaric incursion of Saudis against uh, impoverished and uh, oppressed people of Yemen he said that none of the objectives set by Saudis were reached uh, were achieved and uh, of course they killed lots of people innocent women and children they uh, destroyed the infrastructures of Yemen but this could uh, simply could be done by gang members and this is not such an ach achievement and uh, he said that uh, none of the objectives like I told you none of the objectives were uh, reached and this is a total fiasco for the Saudis at the end of his speech he talked about Imam Mahdi may God re may Allah uh, hasten his reappearance he talked about his uh, uh, the concept of Mahdi he said that it was mentioned both in Sunnis and Shia books and uh, all the Muslims uh, believe in this idea and this his reappearance will definitely happen because Allah said so and Allah uh, he never breaks his promises he also talked about those people who are uh, claiming themselves uh, to be representatives of Imam Mahdi he said that they are telling lies and after those uh, four special representatives Imam Mahdi said that there would be no more and uh, he said that it is our job to uh, uh, act according to the religious, uh, religious laws in the occultation time the other thing that he mentioned uh, he stated that uh, it is not permissible to match the persons we see in the current time to those people mentioned in um, tradition books like for example we see a person right now we say this could be Sayyid Yamani or uh, this could be Dajjal or any other one this is not permissible this matching the persons are not uh, is not uh, permissible all right uh, i think that's about it uh, i will be back with more news or commentaries concerning the islamic world thank you so much for watching my videos and for all of your uh, supports please leave your comments suggestions or criticism in the comment section allah bless all of you and take care